What is going on boys, Swaggy here now, and if you do this, go ahead and to react to a new video that just came out, or a new trailer that just came out for a new Legend of Zelda games. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited to see how this goes. This is called Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and of course this announcement trailer came from Nintendo, straight from themselves. And of course this came out just 10 hours ago today. There was a, 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 a Nintendo Direct today, and I wanted to go ahead and check it out, but at the time, I had a lot of things I had to go do. I had an appointment with the doctor. That went well, but aside from that, like I said, just overall, I really wanted to, you know, I wanted to be there for the direct, but I couldn't be there for the direct, so it just, you know, kind of just had me stun locked. But aside from that, let's get to the activity stuff here. Like I said, link down below to the stuff here. Please go check it out. I worked really hard in this support. Like I said, please go check Nintendo for, you know, Nintendo of America for any new, new game trailers that you are interested in. And without ado, let's get on to it. Okay. Show me some. Yo, okay. I already get into it. Yep, there's Zelda. I forgot. I don't remember who that dude is. There's Link. Okay. Damn. Yo, okay, bro. Vanquish him. Type. Activity. Oh. I'm loving the art style. It reminds me of a uh, Link, uh, Link's Awakening, the new one for the Switch. Oh, that's so cool. So, oh, it looks so good. Are we, are we playing this Zelda? Ah, uh, this. If we're playing Zelda, it's gonna be so sick. Echoes of Wisdom. Hmm. Hello everyone, I am Eiji Aonuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda series. Okay, show me some, show me some. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Okay. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? No. Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. Yeah, I can tell. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Okay, show me some. Stolen away. Across the vast okay. lands of Hyrule, Strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Damn. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. Yes, sir. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Echo, echo Once you wisdom. learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Okay. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Okay. Just like that. That's sick. You can create wooden boxes, learn. old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. Water. How you oh, use them that's... separately or together is entirely up to you. Okay. Learn and create echoes of things you find while Almost exploring like Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Oh, okay. So combining them with like... You know, Even other... battles will look different. Yeah, with other you things. could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. Damn. That's not all, though. You can also create Body. echoes of monsters. What? After doing so, no. they'll fight by your side. No, this is literally what a, Monsters that have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom was, is key after yeah, all. Wisdom, I, I see what you're saying. This reminds me of another game. That's sick. Bomb. Oh my god. I think that's the top. In a high rule without Link. The yeah. fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. There's, uh, some boxes as well. How was that? 
I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. I am. Okay, so first of all, I want to say that was an entirely gas trailer. I love that. Now let me just go ahead and give my general thoughts and answer stuff here. So, first of all, that was exciting. That, a, a Zelda game that's actually <laughs> letting you play as Zelda? Unheard of. <laughs> but I'm just going to give my actual thoughts and opinions on that stuff here. Starting off with the presentation itself here, the actual just, you know, aside from the presentation, we'll go into the actual gameplay and then plot itself and let's get onto it. Now, of course, starting off with, the, you know, of course, the presentation itself here, the presentation itself here was immaculately well done. I love how they started off the actual itself here. It was really good. I love it just so much and I love how they ended the actual itself here. They were both immaculately well done and overall everything in the middle was just sort of a, uh, how to say, it, a good side treat. I loved it. But aside from that, like I said, just overall the actual just, you know, just in general presentation of the video stuff, it was overall really well done. I loved it just so much. And overall, it's got me hyped for The Legend of Zelda. I'm excited. I'm so excited. But I need to do, like I said, just let me get down to the actual, just get, uh, actually, hmm, the plot itself and then the gameplay itself. Let's get down to it. Now, going on to the plot itself here, we're following Zelda in this game. And that's, has there ever really been a game like that? I can't remember one. Like I said, just overall, this is probably going to be the first time that we have actually played as Zelda and you know, sort of gone through Zelda's perspective of, uh, you know, what she kind of does around, uh, at least, you know, what she would do on an adventure to save Link. And I honestly, I like that just so much. That's so sick. And overall, it's, it's really got me hyped. But aside from that, like I said, just overall, I love the actress, you know, just in general, you know, plot itself here. Very simplistic in a way. You know, Link goes missing after fighting a boss to save Zelda. And of course, now Zelda has to go out of her way to find Link and help him and save him. And of course, has to you know has to team up with a a, a mysterious little fairy, and of course, obtain some items, and of course, some echoes, uh, <laughs> and some echoes of items in order to you know eventually find Link and reunite. I like that. That's a really cool concept. Really simple and overall, really well done. I love it just so so much. It was so cool, so spectacular, and overall, really really enjoyable. But aside from that, any further ado, let's just get down to the actual just. <clears throat> Let's just get down to the actual gameplay itself and let's get into it. Now, going on to the actual gameplay itself, the gameplay itself was overall really, really interesting. The sort, the monster mechanic reminded me of another game where you could just kind of, uh, what was it? I'm trying to think about it. Let me just give me a second. I'll be right back. I can't think of it. I'm not going to lie. I, I tried to look for it, but I couldn't find anything like it. Uh, the only thing I can really talk about is probably like Pokemon or maybe Pikmin. I don't think so. That doesn't really correlate well. Uh, but aside from that, though, aside from that, like I said, just overall, I really didn't enjoy the actual video stuff here. Like I said, the gameplay stuff here looks very interesting, very, very different from how, you know, usual Zelda games really do play off. And of course, new items and new things to be explored in this kind of, you know, new game. I like it. I like, I like the, you know, idea of echoes. I like the idea, you know, of kind of just copying items and kind of just minecrafting your way into solutions through puzzles and stuff like that. I love that just so much. That's super cool. And overall, that's got me hyped. Aside from that, though, aside from that, though, like I usually say, just overall, the gameplay itself here, the, the, the graphics and all that. I'll talk about that later on. But overall, this is really good. But aside from that, like I said, without any further ado, that does get through my, you know, my general thoughts and opinions on the extra stuff here. Let's go ahead and get to the extra deeper dive over the extra stuff here. And of course, before I get into the deep dive, please go check out the extra original video itself here. Like I said, link down below. I know the link at the end card at the end of the video. But aside from that, though, also go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. If you made it to this point of the extra stuff here, it really does help me out a ton as a channel. So like I said, please consider doing that. And of course, aside from liking and subscribing, go ahead and also hit the notification bell for the, next time upload, for the next time I upload. If you're interested in catching the newest uploads as soon as you can, like I said, if you're interested, interested in catching the new videos, hit the, hit the notification bell. And aside from that though, actually go in the comment section down below. Let me, let, me, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the game itself here. Whether you're excited, you're interested in see how the game itself is going to work. Or of course, you're interested in seeing a sort of Zelda game where we have Zelda as the protagonist. Like I said, this hasn't really been done before in terms of any recent Zelda games. I don't know about any past ones, especially from those from older consoles. Like, uh, I don't know, the... Um, 
the game not the game the game the gamecube the gamecube or any other game or, or any other console past or you no know, before the gamecube i don't remember any kind of you no know, console or you new know, zelda game in general kind of going through you know zelda's pers you know perspective and uh, her mission to save link it's always been link save zelda but aside from that like i said just overall i'm really really excited to see how this goes but uh like i said let me know your comment let me know your thoughts and opinions on the actual just game itself here down below without any further ado let's get the actual deep dive here now for the deep dive here when i kind of get into i kind of just get more into detail about the actual just video itself here like the presentation the actual just you no know, plot itself here and of course the actual just you no know, gameplay itself here let's get on to it now of course like i said the presentation itself i love how they start off here with the, of course the nintendo switch logo kind of you know going on then of course we start off with link now of course i'm not gonna lie it kind of threw me off when we saw this creature here uh, fighting against Link. I don't remember. I don't know this guy. I think he was like one of the... He almost reminds me of one of those bosses from like the Four Sword Links or something like that. I don't know. Or something of those like lines from like the sideline uh, Zelda games. But aside from that, I'm really interested to see how he... Well, no, I, I remember his form. I don't remember his name. But like I said, I'm really interested to see how this goes. I know he's like the introduction boss, or maybe there's like a cutscene here. Or maybe you do play as Link at the beginning and do take out this boss. And then, of course, we get into the actual game itself. But overall, like I said, I'm really interested to see how this goes. I love it. I love it just so much. And of course, aside from that though, like I said, then we go into this, you know, this sort of segment here, this other cutscene. Where we see Link going you know, kind of into a sort of a weird... I don't know what this is, like a portal, a rip in space-time, or sort of just um, a crack through reality. But we do see that even in the last months that Link probably has, he is still worrying about Zelda. And overall, that is some go-to behavior. This this Link is the GOAT. And overall, I'd love to see how this goes. Like, just... Bam! Ugh, still saves it. And by the way, I noticed something beforehand. His coat or his hoodie is right there. And we do see that Zelda later on in the actual you know, game itself here does end up putting on a hoodie. Off on a journey across Hyrule. To so I do feel like she is going to grab Link's hoodie and then start wearing it for the rest of the game. And it might be just a cosmetic option or a permanent option there. But overall, like I said, I'm really interested to see how that goes. But aside from that, we do see that you know, Zelda does escape and kind of just goes off you know, out of the <laughs> out of this sort of just thing that's happening here in order to get out. I love it. And, ooh, it I'm not going to lie. This design of this kind of just spreading darkness looks so sick. I love it. It's got this sort of like almost like like what's that word for it? What's the word for it? Malicious evil like malicious evil like purple hue. It's just so cool and overall really well done. I love it just so much. But aside from that, like I said, just overall, aside from the actual presentation itself here, like I said, I'm loving the intro itself here. And I'm loving how they kind of diverge from this, like, kind of just, you know, epic cutscene here into sort of an explanation of, you know, what the game is going to be about, what it's going to be featuring, and stuff like that. And, of course, by AG, um, um, I can't pronounce that last part, so I'm not going to try because, honestly, I don't want to, uh, sound stupid. And, of course, I don't want to insult nobody. <laughs> Trying to insult the name completely incorrectly. So, so I'm just going to say AG. So that, in for the, like I said, just over, I'm really, I, I'm like I said, like, the presentation itself here, goaded. Like, just, we go from epic cutscene to, you know, more explanation on the game itself here, what it's going to be about, and of course, kind of just back into the game where we, you know, where we last left off, and to sort of another cutscene here. I love that. But aside from that, though, like I said, just overall, presentation-wise, I love it. The font, you know, stolen away while there's you no know, segments of houses kind of just being taken by the darkness. And of course, this sort of explanation of, you know, what's going on, the echoes, the monster echoes, the, you know, item echoes, and of course... All these items, and of course, clever word usage. Don't think I didn't see you there. Situation. Wisdom is key, after all. Ha ha ha. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, presentation here. Go to now. Let's get to the actual, just, let's get to the actual plot itself here. Like I said, plot itself here seems pretty simplistic. Link literally gets kidnapped by a sort of evil darkness. Zelda gets free. And then, of course, after that, she has to go and help Link and go find him. And she does that with the help of this sort of, you know, 
mysterious, you know, fairy, fairy tribe. Given a new item in order to fight against, you know, any kind of forces of evil. And, of course, to uh, you know, go through any obstacle she finds. Then, of course, this tri uh, tri staff has the ability to copy any item that has these sort of sparkles on it. Then, of course, you learn... Called an echo. The table echo. Like I said, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. It looks so cool. I'm loving the little monster echoes and the sort of strategy you got to go behind it. I'm like I said, plot itself here, really simplistic. I love it so much. Now let's get to the actual gameplay itself because I've been rambling for too long. Now, of course, the actual gameplay itself here overall looks good. Like I said the designs of these characters and the design of the environment itself looks immaculate. It looks so sick, so tough. And overall, really, really enjoyable. I just love it just so, so much. Anyways, um, looks like we're only going to have the tri staff, but we might have other options as well uh, from what I see from this D-pad. And we might even be able to get more hearts out of the game itself here. I'm, I'm going to say this all like maybe beginning levels and stuff like that. Like maybe like only like the first or second uh, like um, world or, you know, dungeon. Uh, like I said, just overall, I'm really excited to see how this goes. And I'm really, like I said, the designs and of course the environments. Go crazy. I love it. They look so good. Super well polished. And overall, really cartoony. And of course, like I said, give, uh, basically the exact same sort of designs from Link, you know, Link's Awakening, that sort of game. I love it. It's super cool. And overall, really, really, you know, really cutie. I love it. But aside from that, like I said, going on to the actual gameplay itself and how it kind of functions, it's very based on strategy, very based on sort of a, you know, using all the echoes you have at any convenient moment in order to, you know, go through these puzzles and go through any kind of challenges and trials. And of course, the combat itself just seems to be a more of a mix of um, of maybe spamming enemy monsters until you can you know, destroy any opponent you are facing against, or maybe something along the line of uh, you know, just copying and you know strategizing which monsters are appropriate for which segment. Like I said, it probably you no know, seems like both, uh, especially if you got like large hordes of bokoblins and you know moblins, and you kind of just want to swarm them with other bokoblins and moblins. Like I said, I'm really interested to see how this game goes. It looks really cool and it really, looks really, really more on the on the smart on the smart strategy side of gaming itself here, especially for you know, especially for a Zelda game. I love it. But aside from that, like I said, that basically does conclude all my general thoughts and opinions on the itself here. Like I said, gameplay itself here goes nuts. The plot itself here, very simplistic. I like it. And of course, the actress's presentation itself here was goaded. I love it just so much. And that interview, like I said, that basically doesn't end off the actress itself here. So like I said, please go check out the actual original video itself here. Link down below, end card right there. I'm leaving you two links to get to that original video. So please go check it out. Aside from that, another end card right there for another, for another one of my videos if you're interested in catching that. And of course, uh, no, no, of course, of course, hit the like button and subscribe. It really does help me out a ton as a channel. So like I said, please consider doing that. And of course, Notification bell if you want to be notified for any future video. Bell of comments, comment is there for. And aside from that, though, also go ahead and hit up the, the comment section down below and let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the edge itself. If you really liked it, you hate it, that's really interesting, or you didn't find it interesting at all, like I said, at least let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the game itself here. And without any further ado, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and of course, have just you know, a magnificent day. And of course, of course, I do want to ask one little favor. Please go ahead and consider sharing the video itself here. It really does help me a ton just as a creator and really does help me just out a ton as a channel itself here. And I would really appreciate if you guys can do that. Thank you so much. But aside from that, like I said, you don't really have to. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Here's that. And for do, take care, stay safe, and I'll be seeing you boys later on. Bye-bye for now, okay?